Hello, science community in your little internet world box. Welcome to my car I'm currently driving, uh, by the way. So if I am looking up and kind of moving around a little bit, it's because the road is a hazardous place. Actually, it's not so bad where I live. It's, it's mostly empty-ish. Um, but yeah, I've been watching a lot of science uh, YouTube channels, particularly the Brain Scoop, hosted by Emily Grassley. Uh, she's wonderful. She's just great. She's kind of a high up-and-comer into that kind of science vlogging world. And uh, we're going to do uh, five awesome facts learned from uh, Emily Grassley or previous other shows she's been on. Now, just to show the world that they're actually teaching us stuff, you know. So we're going to do some facts. Fact. Dimetrodon was not a dinosaur, it was a mammal-like reptile. If you don't know what it is, go Google it. It looks like an iguana with a giant sail on its back. Um, kind of like that. Uh, what else we got? We got fact. Piltdown Man was a lie. A lie, I tell you. It was actually um, made to display a missing link between humans and <coughs> a common ancestor with apes. But now we know it was a human cranium stuck with an ape's jawbone, which kind of sucked. It would have been cool if it was real. Uh, fact. The hero shrew was discovered by a colleague of Emily Grassley, and it's a shrew with a sort of reinforced super spine that makes it tougher than other shrews, so it's hard to crush and stuff like that. Scientists are still wondering what the spine is for. Um, either way, it's a shrew basically with superpowers, and its name is the Hero Shrew, so it's automatically cooler than other shrews. Is that what else we got? Come on, come on, come on. That was the third one. I need a fourth. I need a fourth fact. Come on, brain. Come on, brain. Fact: uh, the human brain is actually getting smaller as we go through the evolutionary timeline. Uh, human brains are getting smaller as. Um, and what people are thinking is that the human brain is just getting better at processing information better, so it doesn't need to be as big. It's actually downsizing. Kind of like what cell phones did. They just kept getting smaller and smaller, and then now with giant touch screens, they're getting bigger and bigger. Um, let's see. What's, what's a good one? What's a good one? Um, man. I just need, I need one more to make it five. Uh, let's see. Fact. When uh, Emily Grassley was talking to a doctor colleague type person in her museum, we figured out that centipedes are predators, millipedes are peaceful vegetarians, and um, you can tell the differences because centipedes only have two pairs of legs per body segment and millipedes have more than two. Um, what else is there? Um, Millipedes were also probably one of the first animals to walk on land because plants would have been one of the first available food sources. So bam! There we go for Emily Grassley and the Brain Scoop. You're actually teaching people out here in the world stuff. Um, if you guys don't know who this is, go check out her channel, The Brain Scoop. It's great. It's entertaining. It keeps you on your toes. You learn stuff. It's got a wonderful host. So, uh, yeah, you guys go do that. I'm going to continue driving to my house, and I'll see you later.